Hey guys, uh, we'll take up one more problem on convolution sum of an infinite length sequence. This time, uh, we'll find output y of n to the power n, u of n, convolved with alpha to the power n, u of n, where where magnitude of beta is less than 1 and magnitude of alpha is less than 1. Okay, this is nothing but convolution operator. If they ask the problem something like determine, determine, determine or find y of n is equal to uh, some sequence, convolved with some sequence, it is nothing but convolution sum. We need to find convolution sum or it is nothing but output of a LTA system. Okay. So we will take up this problem. Solution. First we shall sketch these two sequence. Uh, before that, so this is of the form what? Y of n is equal to what? X of n star H of n. So we saw this in our uh, uh, prerequisite video on convolution sum. A convolution of uh, equation can also be written in short form something like this y of n is equal to x of n star h of n uh, uh, actually instead of writing this equation y of n is equal to what summation k varying from minus infinity to infinity x of k h of n minus k so in short we represent it like y of n equal to x of n star h of n fine so uh, you can take x of n as beta to the power n u of beta to the power n u of n and h of n as alpha to the power n u of n or you can take ulta also x of n b alpha power n and h of n b beta power n because convolution holds good commutative property x of n star h of n is equal to h of n star h of n anything you can assign so we shall assign let x of n is equal to beta to the power n u of n and h of n is equal to alpha to the power n u of n. So we'll take x of n as beta and h of n as alpha. Fine. Now we have to plot x of k and h of minus k. Before that we'll plot x of n and h of n. How does an x of n looks like? So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. This is n. Now since you, we have u of n, we have samples only on the positive side of n because the unit step function, unit step function has does not have any samples in the negative side of n. Okay, so n takes value 0, 1, 2, 3, dot 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 up to infinity. Fine. Now, when n equal to 0, when n equal to 0, uh, what is beta to the power 0? It is 1. Anything to the power 0 is 1, right? And when, a, when n equal to 1, uh, what is beta to the power 1? Is this greater than 1 or less than 1? It has to be less than 1. Why? I'll tell you. Because magnitude of beta is less than 1. Right? So say, say, if beta is 0 0.5, since why I have taken 0 0.5, I assume beta is 0 0.5 because magnitude of beta is less than 1. Right? So beta to the power n, u of n is nothing but what? Then beta is 0 it is 1 when beta it is when beta is 1 uh, this is nothing but 0.5 power n u of n what is 0.5 power 1 it is 0.5 when beta is equal to 2 what is 0.5 power 2 0 0.25 and it goes on so basically it's a exponentially decreasing sequence okay if if beta is 2 say magnitude of beta is greater than 1 then it will be exponentially increasing so it goes like this okay so when n equal to 0 it is 1, when n equal to 1, 2 power 1 which is 2, when n equal to 2, 2 power 2 it is 4, when n equal to 3, 2 power 3, so it goes on, it's an exponential signal, okay. So both are actually exponentially decreasing signal because both beta alpha and beta are uh, less than 1, 
depending upon what is the value of alpha and beta. Alpha may and beta in, may take any value in between 0 and 1. Okay. So this is actually exponentially decreasing sequence. It decreases something like this. This goes like this till infinity. This is x of n, which is beta to the power n u of n. Okay. So similarly, what is h of n? h of n is equal to what? Alpha power n u of n. The sequence is same, but it depends upon what is the value of alpha it takes. Sign. So it is one, and it is exponentially decreasing. It is like this. Fine. Now, so what I need is h of minus n. As per the equation, this is step one of the solution. Uh, h of minus n. If it, this is h of n, what is h of minus n? So it is nothing but this is mirror image, right? So 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, dot dot dot. And it is 1. So it decreases in the empty side. This is 1. This is this is h of minus n. Okay, what's the next thing I need to do in the step 1? So I have to replace independent variable. So x of n is there. So this is now x of k. And this becomes k. And h of minus n is h of minus k. And this is k. Okay, so now I have x of k and h of minus k. What is the next step? Step 2. So step 2. Step 2 is I need to bring so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So this is k. I need to bring both x of k sequence and h of minus k sequence in a single k axis, right? Independent variable. So x of k is a exponentially decreasing sequence. It is like this. So don't worry what is the value of these samples. We are going to put it generally, right? Whereas x uh, h of minus k is like this. So it is starting from 0 and ends at minus infinity. So h of minus k also starts from here and it goes till minus infinity now which is the slider now slider is for h of minus k this is the slider okay so this this is both are in both are in actually zero this is a slider and what is the value of slider since since this end is at zero so slider is Slider index is n. Okay. Fine. So this is x of k. This is h of minus k. What is the next step? So now I need to uh, take this slider and I have to move my h of minus k. Whenever I am moving this slider left or right, accordingly h of minus k sequence is also moving left and right. So I need to move starting. I have to take it and I have to keep it at minus infinity and I have to keep on moving right moving right until the two sequence gets overlap right so till it gets overlap till before it gets overlap that is the non overlapping region and after it gets overlap it is the overlapping region right so first we'll decide the overlapping non overlapping region so this is This is k 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. This is x of k. And say I, I, I'll bring this, I will assume that I took this n and I kept it at minus infinity and I, I was, I kept on moving it right till I end up with somewhere around minus 3. Okay. Something like this. So this is now n. So, till overlap did not actually 
started right when the when does our overlap starts our lap overlap our overlap starts only when i keep this slider which is n at just before zero which is minus 1 right correct now so therefore when n is less than 0 till this n is less than 0 in the sense till minus 1 so there is no overlap this is non overlapping region So y of n is equal to 0. Why? Because no overlap. Fine. Now, so when does our overlap starts actually? Shall I write it? Uh, I'll better I'll write it here. Overlap starts. Overlap starts. So if this is if this is x of k I, I move it more than 0 say I keep this slider n and I, I, I assume that I'll, I'll keep it at 4 ok this is 0 1 2 3 4 it is like this now this is my n ok so this is these are the samples we have and these are the samples we have Basically, overlapping portion is this, right? So this is k. If if I move to 10, if I move this n to k is equal to 10, so overlap start from 0 to 10. If I move it to 100, overlap is 0 to 100. If I move it to infinity, overlap is 0 to infinity. So overlap basically start from 0 and depends upon, I mean, and ends at depending upon where I keep this slider index here, right? So therefore, so this is overlapping region. This is overlapping region. So y of n is equal to summation k. This is as per the formula minus infinity infinity x of k h of n minus k. So y of n is equal to summation k. So overlap started from 0 and ends at depending upon where I keep my n value x of k. What is x of n? Okay, so what is x of n? Uh, okay, what is x of n? x of n is what? Beta to the power n u of n. But u of n is 1, we don't have to consider this, right? So if x of n is beta to the power n, what is x of k? It is nothing but beta to the power k. So this is nothing but beta to the power k. Okay, what is h of n? What I need is h of n minus k, right? So what is h of n? h of n is alpha power n. You ignore u of n because it is 1. So if h of n is alpha power n, what is h of n minus k? It is nothing but alpha power n minus k, right? So this is nothing but alpha power n minus k. Okay. Fine. We will simplify this. Y of n is equal to summation k varying from 0 to, I will write it as n plus 1 minus 1. So that plus 1 minus 1 cancels out and I end up with a. In. So I'm trying to bring this in the standard form. What is the standard form we have? So summation k varying from 0 to sorry n varying from 0 to n minus 1 alpha to the power n, which is nothing but 1 minus alpha to the power n minus 1 whole divided by 1 minus alpha. So I'm trying to bring this bring it to this form. Okay. Uh, beta to the power k alpha power n alpha power minus k. I split this power. Now, since alpha power n is independent of k, I'll take it out from the summation. Y of n is equal to what? Alpha to the power n summation k varying from 0 to n plus 1. So this is beta power k. This is alpha power minus k. I can write it as beta divided by alpha whole power k. Now, this is in the form summation n varying from 0 to n minus 1 alpha power n, right? So summation, this n here is k. Alpha here is beta by alpha. Right. So this is n plus 1 minus 1. This whole value is capital N. Okay. So what is y of n now? It is nothing but alpha power n into what is summation n varying from 0 to n minus 1 alpha power n? It is nothing but 1 minus alpha power capital alpha power capital N minus 1. But what is alpha? This whole beta divided by alpha whole power n minus 1. 
sorry, this is one. Sorry. So I'm sorry, this is one minus alpha power capital N divided by one minus alpha. Okay. This term comes here. This n term comes here. This n term comes here. So now this n plus one terms, uh, this n plus one terms, which is nothing but n plus one whole divided by one minus beta divided by alpha. So this is the output of the system for the overlapping region. So, okay. So therefore, output y of n is equal to 0, 0 for n is less than 0, for n is less than 0 and it is equal to what? Alpha to the power n, 1 minus beta divided by alpha whole power n plus 1 whole divided by 1 minus beta divided by alpha. So this term for n is, for n is what this is for n is what greater than or equal to overlapping region start from greater than or equal to 0 right so greater than or equal to 0 for n is greater than or equal to 0 okay so this is the output of the system